After Party on the Power Trip Podcast Network. Here we are. Uh, we were talking about the new iPhone. So there is a home button or there's no, not there's a home no, button? No, there's no there's home not. button on the iPhone 11. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like and it And I didn't want I that. It. I'm like, because I had the iPhone 6. And I'm like, I want the home button. It took me less than a day to be 100% yeah. fine with it. It's great. Yeah, See, it's, I don't it's love it. It's super nice. Because then you get the whole screen. You don't yeah. have to have no, I the get bottom that. 10% yeah. taken up with the, the right. button. It's awesome. And then the other thing is the facial unlock. See, I haven't done that. I'm worried. I'm scared to do that for some Why? reason. Why? I don't know. There's something creepy about it that I'm like, I don't want my phone to recognize me. You but know what I'm saying? You like, know why it's nice, though? So Because at first I kind of felt the same way, but I did it. And now I don't ever have to put in my passcode. That's the be- best part. Be- because yeah. Yeah. It, it if you hold the phone up to your face, it scans your face. Yeah. And it's like, all right, Corey doesn't I need know. to put in his, this is his phone. But the other thing that's kind of cool is it also does that for the Apple Store. So instead right. of instead of when it, when you want to make a purchase, instead of having to put in a password to like verify the purchase, yep. it just knows it's you because it scans your face. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, buy whatever you want, <laughs> go for Dude, it. Dude, I'm I'm it's all, the best. I'm all about. I, I love where we're going with tech, but there's something that just creeps me out about the fact that my phone is taking that data and doing what with it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and now yeah. it's in an Apple database. I mean, listen, TikTok's going through this thing right now. Obviously, there's with China. I, I think there's a political angle there, but. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I was told early on, even with TikTok, is like, don't do it, don't even get on it because though you have no idea what the data mine of the Chinese are going to be doing with that stuff and blah blah blah. No, listen, Facebook got in trouble with the same thing. Google gets in trouble with it. Those are American companies, so I get it. But now that's becoming like more and more uh, exposed, I think, and and everything that we have is data mining your stuff it's like one more thing like do i want my face recognized mm. on my phone which sure. then gets transferred over to the apple store which doesn't get doesn't so uh all flat that, out just doesn't all that is how local. do you know that like well I, again take it for you know what it's worth but apple has it it's all uh, on a chip in the phone that handles it locally so it stores it on your device locally it is so, so secure that the government regularly gets into battles with Apple because they're trying to get into people's phones, like criminals and stuff, to get to get, get, get evidence. And Apple, for well, the good, most I mean, part, good for them budge. for for being that that steadfast. It's just Google, on the other it's, hand, it's the uncertainty. I think that's mm-hmm. a company that well, yeah, they'll take your 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 stuff and and whatever. But Apple, for the most part, is is very well known for for its privacy so uh, the face id deal i don't you know do whatever you obviously want to do but i don't think you have much to worry about because again all that stuff is is well i I mean i shouldn't not now that we're like flushing this out and talking about it Mm -hmm. like i know that the government already is doing facial recognition like Mm -hmm. there's already big things going on with facial recognition that we don't even that that, we don't even know about you know yeah so it's like I know they probably probably already have my face in a database somewhere. They they've got all my information somewhere, or whatever. But it's just one more thing. I'm like, yeah. is it really hard for me to like either use? Well, same same thing with uh. Well, I know they do it with the uh t- the uh the clear. Like mm-hmm. when I when you get your st- stuff the done at clear, the TSA stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, they've got my retinas. They've got my my thumbprints. So you did they, that. Yeah. So yeah. why would you do that, but not because your phone? at the time? Because that was like an impulse thing. I was at the oh, airport okay. and we had like time to kill, and they're like, they we were waiting around with our family, oh, and they're like, they <laughs> looked at my type. wife and, I and they're like, hey, we've got this deal, you guys, blah 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 blah. I'm like, eh, I've heard about this thing. Let's let's do it, and we got this deal on it, and now it is the best way to travel. It like, is, man. like it is. Oh awesome. yeah. It. I did it at a awesome. at a Twins game. I walked yeah, up. And now, like, yeah. Wait and, now a they, and now they have clear at you all can, sporting yeah. events, not yeah. all, but a lot of sporting mm-hmm. events and stadium stuff. I it's better than pre-check it. because now everybody does pre-check. But yeah. both together is even better. Yeah, I have that's both. Yeah, that's, king, the, yeah. that's the best. Because yeah. yeah. some have, places, yeah. Mm-hmm. When I travel, I'm not lying. No hyperbole. So, I'm not putting hot sauce on it. I will get dropped off of my Uber, and I'll be at the gate in six minutes. So how? Or less. I've never used it because I've always had pre-check. How does it work? Did you just show them your ID? At the clear? Yeah. No, you walk up to the machine, and I and what works best for me is just my thumbs. And so you just hit the little thumb, and you you put your two thumbs on there. It scans. It brings up my whole boarding pass. They check my boarding pass real mm-hmm. quick on on my phone, and they just be like a quick glance. Okay, cool. They escort you to the front of the line. That's the best part. And then because you, because because I, like hockey, I am pre check as well. Yeah. So then I go to the front of the pre check line. I stand there for maybe thirty seconds. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's the best. And they just like, let me go through. Yeah. And then because I'm just have a, I, I have nothing, obviously you don't have to take anything out of your bags. Like, yeah. I go through the security and I'm through and I'm walking to my gate in literally like minutes. It's the best. I've I've done it before when the when the airport wasn't that busy and been through all of that in under five minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you, yeah. you still they still scan your bag though, right? You just don't take anything out. Yeah, you put it through the yeah, thing. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. You do the normal just, pre-check yeah. thing yeah. where you just sure. like, but it's not a full body scan when you go through the. Uh, metal detector. You're just a normal metal I mean, even, detector. Even if you just like randomly selected to do this, yeah, the, yeah, to the, yeah, the, yeah. the 3D scan have, thing or whatever, like yeah. who cares? Like yeah. that takes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that takes 10 seconds. But it's the best because like, you don't have to take your shoes off, which slows everybody up, and it, you don't have to take your belt off or any of that. You well, just walk right in. Well, take your laptop out and all yeah, that bullshit. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, your keys. Uh, I, oh, wait, and my, that, little, my little baggie that you got to have all your toiletries in. Like, How does the shoe stuff work now? Because isn't it weird? Like, It seems like it's completely random depending on which day and which airport you're at. Because how many times have I, 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 in the last handful of years, I've been at an airport, they're like, no, everybody can leave their shoes on today. I'm like, well, why today? Hmm. And then other times you'd be at airports like, shoes off, everybody. I'm like, well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've had it be random both ways where Weird. they want everybody's shoes on or everybody's shoes off. I like, guess what is this, I'm like, always... you know, casual Friday here yeah. at TSA? Right. I don't know. Like, I would say 95% on? of the time I'm going through pre-check. Mm. And so it's like, I'm always got my shoes on. Well, I, I traveled the first day that they switched it. Do you remember, like, uh, you guys were talking, I was listening, you oh, guys yeah, were talking they, about on they, the air where they- they had the one end was all- uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was right. a disaster yeah, yeah, yeah. at the airport. Yeah, yeah but, they, they were doing, weren't, but weren't they doing construction or something, something like that? Something like that. Yeah. So they all had it on basically on one end, yeah. but yeah, yeah man. it's a game changer. Boy, there's nothing worse than getting to the airport and seeing the line and you just can't believe how long it is. There's nothing better than getting to the airport, seeing the line, you can't believe how long it is, and having pre-check. Yeah, and or clear. right, yeah. Because they walk you right in front, and the people are hate you. Oh, yeah. They yeah, hate yeah, yeah. you. It's, saved, I it's have, the only time yeah. I ever feel rich, man. You know, it's like, And it's the best ooh. because my wife has clear, too. So, like, as a family, if we're traveling, yeah. here we are as a family of five, just one, like, see you later. That's it. Yeah. See you it's, later. Yeah. I, see I you have, later. Um, with uh, pre-check, you can pay like fifteen more bucks and get global entry. Yeah. So when, and that's a fucking game changer. When you come back into the country, Ugh. and some spots you got to wait in line for two hours to go through customs. It's the same thing. You yeah. put your hand on this thing, they scan it, a picture comes up. You walk to the to get back into the country. You show it to the guy. He's like, "All right," and they let you back in. And that's mm. all it costs. Yeah, it's like fifteen. Well, it's eighty-five for pre-checks. It's like fifteen bucks more. It's like a hundred total. I'll mm. do you one better. And I've used you, it once, and it's you worth can it. do mm-hmm. mobile passport. It's just an app you download. Don't yeah. have to pay anything. Same thing. Really? No kidding? It's called mobile passport. Huh. As you walk into customs, there'll be a separate line that says it'll say it'll say mobile passport. It'll be like regular global entry mobile passport, and you and you have to do a little bit of legwork when you land. So you put in all your information, your passport number. It asks you all the security stuff, and then it says when you land, you have four. You have a four hour window. Yeah. So you land and then you hit submit when you land. And then you it brings up a barcode and you just walk right through the mobile, scan your thing, the guy the Jesus. the agent looks at you and says like, "Cool, everything checks out." And you walk right through. Wow. There's never a line. That's sweet. When I came back from Jamaica, yeah. I did that and the line, I think they said the estimated wait time for people without that was like 45 minutes. Yeah. It took me longer just to get to the front of the line from yeah. ours. I mean just Wow. To walk through this it. whole people, mm. it was so yeah. so convenient, and it's like free the first time you use it. But if you want to like reuse it, oh. it's you know, Dude, if it would cheap. get me out of that line in London, yeah, oh. yeah, get, right, get global. That's entry. the worst airport I've ever gone into. Yeah. Is Heathrow? London? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to, and even if you're just connecting flights or whatever. Remember when we landed uh, uh, with the Vikings last time we went? Mm-hmm. Were, were you on the team flight? I can't. Yeah, yeah. 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 Remember yeah. how long we stood there and we were with the team? Yeah, we were with the And they gathered team. all the passports. Yeah. We still stood there for an hour, I bet. Oh, Hippie and those guys had it all. Yeah. They were so organized, yeah. too, that it still took forever. Still took forever. You guys, you guys flew yeah. with the team. We were on the flight, and Kyle Rudolph's wife and twins were on the on the flight back. And when we were going through security on the, I think in Minneapolis, those two kids were just like, they weren't being brats, but they were just running wild <laughs> while, uh, is it Jordan? Is that his wife's name? Yeah. yeah. Jordan, I think maybe like her mom or Kyle's mom, like, you know, they were like doing all the passport stuff and doing stuff on the screens. And here's two 
twin girls, I think, just yeah. Yeah. just wreaking havoc and having the time <laughs> of their life. Yeah, of course. Because, you know, mom's getting shit done. Mom's yeah. filling out passports. Seven stuff. hours on a oh, plane. Oh, dude, yeah. Was, they were having so much fun. Nobody was mad. Everybody was smiling because the kids were having a good time. But, like, I mean, traveling with twins on a seven, eight hour flight, no thanks. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. We're probably at a stage now with my family where we would do a flight that long. But beforehand, mm. like, hell no. no. Like, no. would love the idea Oof. to go to Hawaii for a family vacation, but, but now hell, with a six I don't year want to old. take that flight and with young kids. And if you have to stop in L.A. or Yeah, well, or at, I, Seattle. Th- I don't know all the flight routes, but, like, I don't even know if you can get there direct. I think you can now. I think you well, can they, now. Huh. Obviously, pre-pandemic. Yeah, right, of course. Yeah. I think Delta flies direct to Honolulu. Some That's country long, might even do it. Like it's I'm, a long I, flight. With kids, I'd almost want a stop. It's like why you got to go for like almost two weeks. The flight, the time change. Yeah, yeah. It's a beast, man. It's sweet though. It's the best. It's yeah. awesome. As I soon just, as they figure this out, and obviously there's a lot more important reasons than just so I can travel again. But I'm I am I am taking advantage of it, man. I I will. I'm going everywhere. I'm gonna. I'm even gonna go to Turkey. I, I want to see everything, man. Abigail's going to be in college next year. Oh, I'm you got to do it. I, I, I got to go, go for it. What's your stop. first stop? Uh, I, I'd love to go to Turkey. I don't think that'd be my first stop again. But I want to go back to Le Puy uh, over in France and the uh, in the uh, um, French uh, Alps. Uh, you, you guys can't believe it. You just can't believe it. You can't believe it exists. I want to go there and actually spend more time. We made a mistake by going to Paris for a few days first and then going there. Mm. Paris was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, I, I, you know, it's nice mm-hmm. and... Congested. It's dirty as shit, to be honest with you. It's not nice at all. It's dirty as hell. And, Is it really? And they really don't much like Americans, which I understand. Um, but um, I don't really like much. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but, you know, the Louvre was awesome and, and the, you know, obviously the Eiffel Tower and all that stuff. But French Alps, man, there's this town called Le Puy and you can't believe it, dude. You just, you can't believe it. Uh, anyway, but that's what I'm going to do, man. I, I'm going to. You should, man. I'm getting yeah. the hell out. Hell yeah. I dude. am. I'm going to. That's all my wife and I talk about. Like, uh, well, we got a lot of years left, but like. When the kids are gone and we're empty nesters, like, yeah. it's go time. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's yeah, go. Yeah, man. Yeah, go anywhere. I can't wait. It's weird, man, because uh, Ab- you know, I told you guys Abigail started work this week. So I'm starting to see a little bit of what that freedom is going to look like. Yeah. When when literally I get home and I'm like, nobody nobody needs me? Right. Yeah, no, what, what do I do? What, what am I going to do? You know? And then, like, last night I mowed the yard and I was like, what a waste of fucking time. <laughs> I could have right. gone and done something fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you don't. Of all things, hockey, I don't know why you don't have somebody do that for you. Uh, it's it's good steps, man. It's yeah, good, good, you know, good point. Yeah. That. yeah I know, but that's nap yeah. time. You, wait, wait, listen. Yeah. When you're 49, get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> you need all the exercise you can get. But man, you probably listen to a podcast or yeah, something. Oh, for yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, love that. I love exactly. it. Yeah, yeah. I might see in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But again, I just said this right before we started to Ben, but wouldn't you agree, like, if Ben has never seen Inception, which blows my mind, yeah, don't, too. speaking of traveling, don't watch it on an airplane. That is not an airplane yeah, movie. Yeah, good point. Screen's too small. Well, so unless the you, got, you, got, you got one of those big iPads, don't you? Even so, that's no, not no, good no, enough. Like watch, big, it, watch it on a big TV. Person. I mean, you you got, got a laptop. Yeah. You, you got to have the sound yeah. system, man. Yeah. Again, like, think, of, Dunkirk is an even better Christopher Nolan example mm-hmm. of... That movie would have been okay on an iPad. In the theater, that oh, movie dude. was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feeling like the gunshots it's were flying so right loud. over your head. Mm-hmm. But that's oh. what, what um, we did this with Zach like a week or two ago. But what, what new, uh, Nolan movies have you seen? Like, I, don't, I don't know them all off the top of my head. Uh, uh, Dark Knight up. trilogy, obviously, you've yep. seen, right? Yep. Have you seen Memento? No. Wow. Have you seen Prestige? Nope. Wow. Have you seen Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey? No. Oh, wow. Dude. Whew. Yep, seen Dunkirk. Okay. Dunkirk Wales. Good but film. See, what what I love about Chris Nolan, why I think he's essentially one of the Tom best Hardy's directors there. out there, and that's why I can't wait to see what Tenet is about, yeah. is he he takes a concept, like an Inception, it's dreams, and he basically is like, let's do a movie about dreams that's never been done before and have a take on dreams that no one's ever had before. Like with Interstellar, right? He he, The most unique take on ghosts Unreal. and black holes ever. And you're Unreal, like, what? Man. Yeah. So fascinating. Prestige is, how, how can I do a magic movie that nobody's ever done? And, of course, Memento is like, how do I fuck with memory? Yeah. Right? How can I, how can I structure a movie that's never been done? He just, he just takes, like, a concept and must just say, all right, that's my theme. What's my masterpiece? So I don't know what Tenet is about, but whatever concept it is, it's going to be unlike yeah, anything in. we've ever yeah. seen. I'm yeah, in. he's got equity. I don't it's even like, care what the concept mm, yeah. is. Mm. But – 
Man, yeah, I, I don't even know which one. If you haven't seen Inception, I don't even know where I would tell him so to start. his movies are Following, which I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Then Memento. A+. plus. Then Insomnia. Yeah, that was with Robin Williams. I never saw that. Oh, yeah, okay, I saw that. Yeah, okay. Kind of a piece of shit. Th- then Batman like Begins. It? Yep, good. The obviously. Prestige. Genius. The Dark Knight. Genius. Yeah, is Inception. Brilliant. Genius. The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, very good. Interstellar. A+. Plus. Dunkirk. A+. Plus. Tenet. Can't wait. And again, just banger after banger. Uh, that's what when I'm saying. when banger. was Tenet supposed to come out? Like April? July? Ago, yeah. uh, I thought it was April. May, well, it's I been bumped it's back spring. a couple of times, but I know, I know, like the date date was like July, f- whatever, and now it's the what the second week of August. Hmm. What would you have Ben start with? Because we had the same debate with with Halverson. Wow. I, if you take the Dark Knight trilogy out, start with Inception. I might have to start with Inception. I yeah. Mm-hmm. I've yeah, heard... Inception's the most fun. Yeah. yeah, start with that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll probably start with Inception. I really want to see Memento because I remember when it came out, mm-hmm. it was such this groundswell of like, it's like almost like whispers. Like, Cult yeah, following. Yeah, yeah like, like, huge. Me- me- memento, Memento. And all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, you got to see Memento. And it's like, uh, fuck, yeah. like, I, I, I guess I got to see it. And I still have never seen so it. So f- fun is the right word for Inception. As, again, I just watched it last night for the first time in years and I couldn't believe how awesome it was even for the fourth time or something but it's just been so long it's super fun but it blows your mind at the same time because it's you have to think so hard to like keep up with what's happening but it's such a fascinating concept that it's so much fun to try to put the puzzle together i think memento memento is the least fun of his major movies but it's so different that it's just you're just watching somebody do something that's never been done before it's so trippy prestige is super fun interstellar's a little less fun, but still super interesting. Hmm. So what you're saying is I should not watch Inception with my wife. <laughs> well, Because yeah. she's going to be like, wait, what's going on? It's why I, I saw, honestly, I'm, hey, I'm not. what do you think about this I know, couch? I know. Sauce, I, was, I was looking at this couch. 100% no. no. <laughs> yeah, or this new dog. How about we get yeah, a new dog? 100% oh. no. I know, I know I'm, 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 I'm not really ripping sauce because the truth is, is if you have an attention span like sauces, yeah. this, Nolan's movies are not for you. You have to pay attention. I can't. And that's how we talked about it this morning. Is my 14-year-old was like, before we even start, two and a half hours? Before we even started, Checked she was, out, had right? one foot yeah. out the door. Yeah. Like, I can't focus that long. It's like, you can't pay attention to a two and a half hour. She couldn't do it. Yeah, She, she did it, but she had, about halfway through, she was losing And then interest. Harper's like, I got this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Let but, me tell you what happened. But the la- I forgot the last 45 minutes of freaking Inception uh, with the van uh, and the hotel the, and, the layers, and you're like, this is a fucking masterpiece. It's uh, so smart. Man. God damn it, is that movie good? What's that kid's name? Joseph Gordon-Levitt? No, the bad guy kind of. Cillian Murphy? Yeah, How do you that know that? That's, when know. you ripped that off this morning, I'm like, he plays the God sk- damn dude. But again, think of Peaky well, Blinders. Way, yeah, Peaky yes. Blinders. But, yeah. but think of how loyal Nolan, yeah. a lot of these guys. Michael Caine is in almost all of them. Tom Hardy. Like uh, uh, Cillian Murphy is the scarecrow in The Dark Knight, right? Michael Caine's in a whole bunch of his movies. Prestige, Dark Knight. Uh, Inception. He uses the same yeah. people a lot because clearly he just must trust the same four or five yeah. people. And he knows that they're, he know. well, that story came out, what, a week or two ago about there's no sitting Damn if it, you're you working. Damn the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> oh, sorry, right. sorry. No sitting on the set? You cannot because he says if you're sitting, you're not working. So they. This shouldn't surprise anyone. Yeah. So they got to know that going into it, we ain't fucking around here. We're hmm. making a movie. But by the way, the other reason why we picked uh, Inception last night, remember how about a week ago I mentioned that. Bailey admitted she had no idea who Tom Hanks was. And I'm like, how is that possible? Weird, but the only, she, yeah. she just knows his voice from Toy Story. She's never seen any of the movies we grew up on because why would she watch Philadelphia or Gump or... Bachelor Party. Right, exactly. <laughs> so we realized that. And we also realized last night that even though she thinks he's super hot, huh? she had never seen a Leonardo DiCaprio oh, movie oh. until last night. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <Yeah. laughs> who know, thinks Tom Hanks too. is hot? <laughs> so that, well... So before we started Inception, we're like, well, if you've never seen a Leo movie, but you think he's hot, and you don't know who Tom Hanks is, let's start with Catch Me If You Can. Hell She's yes. like, because it's great, and it's got both of them. She's yeah. like, I don't want to watch it. We're like, all right, then let's just start with a Leo movie. So we watched yeah. Inception. and You got to get her away from your wife for a while. I know. <laughs> you you got to. <laughs> I know. At any point, Corey, did you look over and they were both on their phone? <laughs> No, because both of them exploded. were. <laughs> both of them were like, "Hey, Leo, Leo, Leo!" And then both of them, when Tom Hardy's on the screen, both of them are like, "I, I may as well have just fucking left." Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. No, oh, that was their plan. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, That's probably why. Why don't you want to watch Catch Me If You Can? Angie's probably. 
Bailey, let's watch the Tom Hardy movie. Yeah. He's way cuter. Um, just to, I, I've never seen Insomnia, apparently, which I thought I had, but I guess I haven't. That's mm-hmm. Robin. Al yeah. Pacino. Al Pacino and Robin Williams, 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Whoa. Don't believe it. But you didn't like it? It just didn't stack up what's too the, well. What's the Nolan concept? Like, what's the I idea? I didn't even know it was until just now. Oh. I thought it was just a bad, um, one of those, like, early 2000s From the point of, uh, uh, comes the story of a veteran police detective, Al Pacino, who was sent to a small Alaskan town to investigate the murder of a teenage girl. It's good. I've forced seen Forced into a psychological game of cat and mouse by the primary suspect, Robin Williams. What's her name? Events escalate, and the detective finds his own stability dangerously threatened. Hillary Swank's in it. Yeah, Hillary Yeah, Swank's. I've yeah. seen it. Oh Interesting. Gosh, I haven't thought about her in forever. Yeah, right? Yeah, they... They reference her in the office. It's yeah, brilliant. they debated whether or not she was hot. Yeah. Yay or nay? Uh, uh come on. I'm in I, real life. Yeah, I that's mean, the, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm the Jim take. I look like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> yeah. If she walked in here, I think all of our jaws would drop. But yeah. for yeah. Hollywood standards, yeah, she's not my type. But, but yeah, she's probably a ten she's in person. Looking than- she was in I Am Mother. <laughs> That was Four of us. a big movie, wasn't it? I Am Mother just came out last year. Huh? You're thinking of, no, the, the movie Jennifer that Sauce Lee. recommended, I Am Stepmother. Oh, by the way, Hawk, last night, man, this goddamn woman oh, walked thing. in yeah. on Sexist. her stepdaughter's boyfriend showering. Oh, yeah. And then that this, happens. The, God damn it, though. He was then, doing a poor job, I bet. He, he was. Yeah. She <laughs> helped him. And then her bo- her girlfriend walked in. His she girlfriend. has a girlfriend? Sorry. His girlfriend, it her stepdaughter, been, yeah. walked in and was pissed. But then joined. How pissed, though? Real pissed. That, <laughs> and then like, joined. I can't believe you're doing that to my boyfriend. Yep. And then the stepmom was like, he's never supposed to be here. Your stepfather hates him. You're lucky that I'm a good stepmom. Now let's both blow him. <laughs> yeah. So then they make up. They kiss. Yeah, they make up. Like, you know what? Weird. It's just a look into real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's an area of fact. Because, of course, he's so shy out. That's out. Just, the, the, and whatever, porn's funny, but he's showering outside. Like, sh- like it's just so stupid. So he's asking for it. Is what you're yeah. Saying. What is he doing out there? Yeah. Have you seen that one? I'll, I'm gonna look for it today. <laughs> I love yeah. movies with happy endings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Inception, or is it? Is it? I don't. That, that's the thing. I know, right? Ben, there's no way you don't like Inception. Yeah, this no, is, I would. Agree. It's right in yeah. your wheelhouse. You're gonna like. You'll scream through all his movies after you watch it because yeah. they're yeah. so good. Yeah. You will. Oh. Shutter Island or Inception? Uh, Inception by a mile. Shutter yeah. Island, super good, man. It, All right. Pretty damn that, good. Shutter Island's like an eight. Dude, Inception's like a nine and a half. That fucking eight. scene, though, out at that, like, beach area where yeah. she talks about, like, what she did to their children, and you're like, but, holy uh, fuck. But this is this is the under, um, under, what are we looking at? I'm, I didn't mean to. Oh, that's all right. No, uh. It's the power of the director, though. I'm a Scorsese fan, but like what Scorsese did with Shutter Island is not uh, what yeah. Nolan does with Inception. It's just another. It's next level thought, not even like skill with filming. It's just Nolan's thinking one level higher than most people. So even though there's a giant twist at Shutter Island, Inception has 56 twists, and you're yeah. like, "Fuck, is this yeah. layered?" Right. I, so good. I was so, saying to Sauce and Zach during one of the commercial breaks when we were talking about uh, the show. When he has the idea for Inception, it must have taken him weeks to just map it out on paper right. going, that all right. That was his first idea. It was? Before he, like, made any movie. Oh, wow. Him and his, well, his brother does Westworld. He's, like, a right. pro- Jonathan pro- Nolan, crea- right? creator of it. Yep. And that, I think they had that idea before they were filmmakers. Gotcha. If I have the story right. Okay. I think oh, that's wow. What it was. I couldn't I mean, figure that out. story takes a long time to develop, I would assume. So. I couldn't figure out how a bunch of West Virginia people banged each other this morning, let alone Dude, follow right. a Christopher I, Nolan movie. I fucked up. When you walked in, you were, like, half sweating because <laughs> of what you just saw, and I was like, Normally you call me like cocksucker or something, and right. you didn't say anything. I'm like, what's up with him? He had his mouth agape. I, and he's I like, literally it was the last thing I saw before I started the yeah, show. And that, that incredible scene that we watched, yeah. my god, it's terrible. It's like it's terrible. finding people who've lived in a cave. It's for like finding years. Gollum. Yes, it really is. It's like what, yes. what are you guys talking Dude. about? Inbreeders. Yeah, there's Inbreeders. a uh, there's a documentary. It's bra- it's relatively new, um, but it's not even a real documentary. This guy just um, he found a, a family in. The middle of nowhere, West Virginia, hmm. that is so inbred Creepy. that they're barely able to stand up straight. Uh, you can't believe it. And he took pictures of them, and then he came back like four years later and brought a video camera and and talked to them. You can't believe it. And, yeah, and if, we, if we have this right, we think this is what happened. Check this out. 
So let's say you you have a, you don't have a sister, right? You just have a brother. I have right? a sister. Oh, you do have a sister. Yeah, yeah, a younger sister. <laughs> Perfect. In a weird way. Let's say you and your sister both banged your own cousins, right? You with a female First cousin. Cousins. He oh, or she, she with a, with, the, with that cousin's brother, right? Yep. So like you and a sister versus mm-hmm. another uh, cousin and a sister. Mm-hmm. You guys both hook up with first cousins. Now you guys have kids, right? You both produce one yep. kid, and then those two kids fuck and have kids and have kids. That's right. what this family did. Double, and, and double first cousins, apparently, it's, it's, it's called. It's real bad. And that's the only the generation we know of. <laughs> you know, who knows how long that goes back? And they're all yeah. biologically fucked up. Oh, uh, you oh, can dude. see it in their faces. Dude. I mean, they are. The guy can't talk. Disasters. I'm not going to show it to disasters. you as we're watching here uh, uh, while we're recording because you can't help but say something wrong because it's so messed yeah. up. And you feel so horrible for these people. You just can't. You can't believe it. No, and you Everything you've ever ex- read about exactly. what happens when people it looks like a movie is on this documentary. It's it why looks like inbreeding a should be illegal. Yeah. Yes, you're you're directly looks fucking like the, up the yeah, kids that you're about like, to have. Yeah, it looks like the hills have eyes. You're like, yes, yes. What yeah, the that's right. Fuck, that's exactly that's what it's it's not looks not like. Their fault. It's not their Chris, fault. That was Chris's yeah. point about why you feel bad making fun of them. It's it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They're so genetically fucked because their parents shouldn't have done what they did. Yeah, and then they just kept doing it. Yeah. It's just disgusting. All right. Uh, let's watch it now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. We, we, yeah, watch this and then Inception. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, order yeah exactly. Order of importance. Right, right. All right. Bye.